Today on Karamo. You're dealing with a lot right now, the loss of your brother. Lacey's brother recently passed away. And it has something to do with my dad because he was shot in our backyard by an officer. And now her mother keeps claiming that her dad, Kevin, sounds like a really amazing he man. He is, he's my favorite guy ever. <laughs> is not her real father. He's not your dad. He's not your dad. It's time for you to realize that. The confusion will come to an end today. I don't know the truth. My dad's been my dad. But he's not your dad, Lacey. Yeah, see? Is this all about the death of Lacey's brother? This is just to show you that he's not your father because I'm washing my hands of him. I don't even want nothing to do with him. Or will the DNA outcome prove Lacey's mother is right? So this is your truth to okay. open. Plus, I still have sex with her next to her. A relationship involving three people. She telling the truth? That will cause two phones to be unlocked. And so we got a message from this ex. <laughs> Today, we're here to help uncover a lifelong DNA mystery. Starting at just 11 years old, Lacey began hearing rumors that Kevin, the man who she knew as dad, was not her biological father. Lacey says her own mother, Sybil, told her Kevin was not her father and made her stop using his last name. Now, at the age of 36, Lacey still doesn't know who her real father is. So let's first meet Lacey to get her side of this story. Hi, Lacey. Can I have a hug? Yes, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. OK. So so I first got to know, did you call the show or who called the show wanting a DNA test? My mother. Your mother did? Yes. Wow, okay. And why do you believe getting a DNA test is so important to your mom right now? Um, I think it's closure for her. Maybe something that she can just say is, is something that she can get out of the way also for, uh, for me. Yeah. You know, it's, it's important for me. How long did you live with your mom as a child? I think until I was about five. Five years old? Yeah. Okay, and what happened then? I went to live with my dad. Okay, okay. And when did you begin living with Kevin and why? Um, I was, I believe I was five years old and yeah. we just went to live with my dad because my mom was, she had somewhere to go. My grandma and my aunt took us there and then we stayed with my dad forever. Got it. And so you were hearing rumors as a child that he wasn't your father. Yeah, when I, um, yeah, I turned about 11 and I was informed that my dad could be somebody else by my mom. And um, I'd been living with my dad the whole time and I'd been knowing his my dad my whole life. So I didn't really, know anything oh, different. Oh, sweet. Yeah. How did that make you feel in the moment? I didn't believe her. Yeah. I didn't believe it at the moment, and my dad never said anything that he agreed with it. He never said that that's true. He mm -hmm. just kind of said, let that be. That's nothing to worry about. And yeah. so we kind of just took it as that for a while, but it became really um, prominent as I grew older, my mom kind of just saying things like that and, and, and others saying stuff. So is your mom, does your mom have some idea of somebody else who could be yes. your father then? If she's saying yes, Kevin is not? Does. Who? His name's Caesar. Um, Caesar. He's passed on now, but it's been something that's been prominent in her mind forever. I guess she's even saying now that she's sure that he is my dad mm. or my real biological father. Did your mom introduce you to this other man named Caesar? She did. And what was that like? Awkward. I didn't really connect with him, and she kind of said that it was because I was a brat that he wouldn't claim me. So. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And does your mother talk to you like that often? Um, when she gets, when things get brought up, yes. Yeah, when things, when things come get brought to a up about situation, like... she doesn't. We have a really good relationship as far as we're close. We talk, but yeah, when things get heated and questions come out, it just kind of turns into more of an aggressive type of it's your fault anyway type thing. Got it. So, how did you get along with Kevin, the man you were raised with growing up? That's my dad. That's your dad. Yeah. It was sweet. Yeah, good relationship. That's my dad. Yes. Yeah. I stayed in his room. Like, <laughs> that's my dad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's sweet. And um, how does it make him feel knowing that? Um, he doesn't really mom. say anything other than that's not a thing. Yeah. He yeah. never like ever. So. He does. He's not compatible at all. No. Yeah. What's making you emotional right now? Just that <laughs> it's unlucky and that's all. Yeah. And I know you said you stopped living with your mom at five years old. So mm -hmm. take me back. What was your relationship with your mom growing up? Um, she didn't really come. I mean, she came when she wanted to. She was there. She was there for me. She became more of a friend, a really close friend. Um, as I got older, she helped me with my youngest daughter, and. We've been we've been close. We have a, we we know each other really well. You know we can forgive each other for things. We just she's not really been like a like a mom mom. Thing. Yeah, it's very interesting when people says that their parent is like a friend. Yeah. Yeah. So it's because she didn't raise you basically. Yeah. Mm. 
And my producers told me right before I came out that you just recently lost your brother. Yes. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, um, his name you. was Dylan? Yeah, Dylan. Okay. It was, it, we have the same mom and dad. Mm. I mean, if, if my dad is my dad, yeah. then we have the same mom and dad. But then yeah. that's kind of a weird thing, too, because, like, we were super close, you know? How has losing your brother affected your mother? Yeah, it's outrageous. Um, she has this weird feeling that somehow my brother was killed, and it has something to do with my dad because he was shot in our backyard by an officer. Um, he was having a mental health issue and um, a super unfortunate situation there. And my mom somehow harbors this anger, and that's one thing that she's been adamant about this test for, just so she can say that she has no ties to my dad any longer. Because Got it. with Dylan being gone and him not being my biological father, that will cut her ties with him, and she won't have to deal with him any longer. Got it. How does your mom Sybil get along with Kevin today? My dad's so cool. He just kind of forgives everything and he just lets her come back around every time, you know, like every time. Yeah, he sounds like a really amazing he man. He is, he's my favorite guy ever. Yeah. Sweet, I appreciate that. I'm emotional, yeah. excuse me. It makes sense, it makes complete sense. I mean, you're dealing with a lot right now, the yeah. loss of your brother, but also this information that has been haunting you for almost 31 years because Pretty if your mom told you this at like five, yeah, I mean, it's just been haunting me for a long time, just kind of things that get said, you know, like, mm -hmm. just in ways. Well, everyone, it's now time to meet Sybil. So everyone, please welcome Lacey's mom, Sybil, to the show. So you're here, Lacey. You're here today because Kevin is not your father, and I told you always that he's not. Okay, you, you, you he, he's not been good at any of it. Everything is, everything is, it's just all not right. Okay. And, and I, 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 I'm sorry, but you, you, you were molested, okay? And they're living with him, okay? Both you and your brother both were, he didn't protect you. I'm trying right now, I want, because I want closure to this. I want, I want everybody to know he is not your father. And, and he doesn't deserve to be saying that he is. Her mother says Kevin is not her real father. He's not your dad. He's not your dad. It's time for you to realize that. Is this all about the death of Lacey's brother? But I hope that you feel good about yourself doing that. Do you feel like you're Here we are. It's all about you again. You it's and it. you. Or will the DNA outcome prove Lacey's mother is right? Today, we're here to help uncover a lifelong DNA mystery. Starting at just 11 years old, Lacey began hearing rumors that Kevin, the man who she knew as dad, was not her biological father. I was informed that my dad could be somebody else by my mom. His name's Caesar. Caesar? I guess she's even saying now that she's sure that he is my dad. And she kind of said that it was because I was a brat that he wouldn't claim me. So how did you get along with Kevin, the man you were raised with growing up? That's my dad. That's your dad. <laughs> Kevin is not your father. And I told you always that he's not. I want everybody to know he is not your father, and, and he doesn't deserve to be saying that he is. I feel like that's just um, another way to throw a jab at me, to throw a jab at dad, because maybe you're feeling, un uh, I don't understand why you need to do that, what good it does for what you. What I need to do is, is what, what the purpose needs to be here is that you need to, you need to realize it. You need to face this right, okay? Because so you don't I am like the... that I have a good relationship with my father? Is it, you, is it like a good that... relationship? Is it a good relationship, or is it something you built out of, out of falseness? Because the whole thing is false. Well, thank you. And then, I mean, that's really cool of you to do, and I hope that you feel good about yourself doing that. Do you feel like you're, like, do, do you, you feel, feel good? Hey, this is where I'm done with it. I'm done with being the one that you blame for everything. I, okay, let me get this right, though. Let me just think about this really, really quickly. So you're telling you me that you again. went and had a sexual relationship with this guy that could have possibly had some money for you to get into, Caesar, Boswell, oh, okay, mind so you. Okay, money. Now it's about and money so, now. It's a money but, thing. Well, this possibly whole... you were going to be pregnant with his kid, but you met my dad full well knowing that he could take care of you, so you pretended oh, to get you pregnant by him with me and tell him that I was his baby. This is it getting this well, done, Lacey, you know, you have, have me, you have really my brother, and Mary you me go and, and play this what you do, thing. Lacey. You don't even seem like somebody who I want to be related to at this point. Good, okay, there you go. You know, and again, here we are. It's all about you again. You, 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 you know. I what about me? What about everything me here? I get the bad into everything. I didn't give birth to me. I didn't No, I didn't ask for you to give birth to you either, okay? I didn't ask that either. I mean, there was so many other, is there plenty of other guys that could be my dad that we don't even know? Is there plenty? Really? Let's find out here. The whole I'm, thing I'm there. sick of this, Mom. I'm sick of this. I don't like the way that you're acting. I don't think it even looks appealing or at all right. I don't feel like you understand the point of what you've done here and how come. And, and why so, does my so, dad have to be? Sybil, I'm a bit confused though because I'm trying to track this and and make sense of this. If you thought that he wasn't that great of a guy, I've heard you say things like you he didn't protect you. Um, you felt like he wasn't a good dad, then why would you leave your children in his care? You know, you're 100% right. And I, I, 100% because I wasn't staying in there because it wasn't good for me either. And okay. so, and that's right. So why would I put my children there? I, to this day, I regretted the whole thing. Okay. I did things because I thought it would be better for them. 
because I was doing drugs. I was doing things that weren't right. And I thought he could take care of him better, but she's not his. He came to my school programs. He came to my parents' teacher conferences. And I wasn't he's allowed to. There. I wasn't allowed she to. She didn't show up. She didn't there. show up. She didn't you come. Were, you're saying you weren't allowed to, so no, did because Kevin we, stop you? No. Oh, yes. She, yes, he did. And he would let the kids sit there and wait for me. I'm not the bad guy here. I've been painted out to be everything wrong, and, and I'm the one who... I'm the one who supports everything. I mean, mm -hmm. I just want her, I want, the closure so, I want is because, because I'm so gonna walk away from So can I ask you a question? Because you've brought this up several times now and your daughter hasn't. So if you feel uncomfortable with me talking about this, mm. please let me know and I'll stop this line okay. of questioning. But when you found out your daughter was molested, you talk about Kevin's actions. What were your actions? I, I didn't find out until five years ago. Okay. And Nobody and did. Okay, and so five years ago. So it sounds like Kevin didn't know either. So you didn't know. I don't know where this comes from with you, but it's it's a lot different than the way that it's portrayed, and it's not something that my dad could have done anything about. I just need you to stop. I need you to stop. I, I need you to listen. Understand. So not... okay. So, but at the end of the day, I think when we're talking about that molestation, I think we have to you have to think about the fact that if he didn't know and you didn't know, it's more so about how you're supporting her now. You have to stop this type of stuff. Oh, okay. Me. So this, who do you believe is Lacey's real father, and where is he today? Um, he's, he's passed away. So, okay, you do believe in Caesar, who she said. I took her okay. there. I, I said, it's, the whole thing's been said from the gate. I've never lied about anything. It wasn't anything trying to put anything. It wasn't about but the debt the more money. that I've gotten from her was that he didn't want to claim you because you're such a brat. Mm. You're no, such no, a bad because, kid that he couldn't Because you're want just to be. like Kevin. Well, that's my father. <laughs> just like Kevin, got it. That's um, my dad. You're, he's not your dad. He is not your dad. It's time for you to realize that and do something different. I, need, I just got one more question. From maybe. your opinion, where do you think this animosity towards Kevin has come from? Because, because you have because a lot of animosity towards him. I do, I do, because because I, I was I was pushed out of everything. And and it, all because the woman he was with didn't want me around the picture and she was jealous of me, which is he, Kevin promoted that. He made it to where it's hostility all the way, because he could have made things easy. He could have made things to where there wasn't that she, she could have had to feel that. On time. I know we your needed son, you. We needed you. I gotta tell you this. I, so I'm I'm very sorry about your son passing. I, I can only Imagine the grief you're and that's and that's where because that because I want nothing more to do with him And if this if this is just to show you that he's not your father because I'm washing my hands of him So this is why this is so important. This is this yes, because, because you're trying to because I don't want any ties way. I don't even want nothing to do with him at all but, you well, go I, ahead tell you, I want to hear what Kevin has to say about this so everyone let's please welcome Kevin to the show Lie. That's a bold you know, face lie. 36 years of questions. I don't know the truth. My dad's been my dad. But he's not your dad, Lacey. Yeah, see? Is this man Lacey's real father or not? So this is your truth to okay. open. Is it a good relationship or is it something you built out of, out of falseness? Because the whole thing is false. She's not his. He came to my school programs. He came to my parent teacher conferences. If you thought that he wasn't that great of a guy, I've heard you say things like he didn't protect you, then why would you leave your children in his care? Because I was doing drugs. I was doing things that weren't right. I'm not the bad guy here. Who do you believe is Lacey's real father and where is he today? Um, he's, he's passed away. So, okay, you do believe it's Caesar. Who's... The whole thing's been said from the gate. I want to hear what Kevin has to say about this. So everyone, let's please welcome Kevin to the show. Hi, Kevin, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for being here. So what did Sybil tell you about Lacey's paternity when she was pregnant? When she was pregnant, I didn't know. It, it was a few, a few years later when her and I didn't get along and we were gonna separate. And then she came out and said, well, she's not your daughter anyway. Mm. This so was after she asked me to take the kids. She goes, I, you're a better parent than I, I can't handle them, so why don't you take the kids? So we agreed that, that, is a lie. That's a bold that I would lie. take them. I didn't so, ask you to take the kids. The kid, my sister took the kids to My mom was on a cruise in the Bahamas cruise. No, with again, some other guy. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm the person that she sister, had babysitting yeah. us. Yeah, it was my Couldn't sister. We took my kids there, not because I was not fit. They thought that. They, everybody thought well, I was Well, you were in the Bahamas. Oh, was you I? in the Bahamas. She doesn't, like she's lying. Young she didn't know. And we got taken to my dad's house by my aunt. Okay. But from what you told me yourself, you said that during this time you were using. No, no, no. I wasn't using that. Okay, look. They were seven and five when they went with their father, okay? That's when, when I, when, yeah, they were. She, she tries to think she was five years old, went through all these things. No, she was seven and my son was five, okay? okay. And, and the whole thing there is that I, I all of a sudden figured, hey, uh, I'm gonna be good because uh, I got some time. I didn't have to worry about everything anymore. I, I was stressed out for the whole time taking care of them, struggling everything. I did everything for them. 
I took care of everything. You didn't do no, nothing. No, she did. She did good. Straight. For, you didn't. And, and so when they years, went there, was really good. all of a sudden I had some freedom, I thought, because I wasn't stressing some more. And so, so yeah, I did, I did not go get them right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you believe, um, Kevin, that Lacey it may not be her child, or do you believe she is? I believe there's a possibility she Because not. of the, the seeds of doubt. Yeah, she so I, it didn't matter. No <laughs> matter what, she's mine. Did I, you hear earlier, because I just want to backtrack a little bit, when you were talking about being younger, did you hear that he gave you credit, then said that you were actually doing well when yeah, you were there? Yeah, cause, yeah, but she doesn't see that. I, okay. No, but, she did but, the first couple of years we were married. She yeah, I just want to make sure, because he gave you credit for that. But your issue is that you feel like she doesn't give you credit. She doesn't give me credit for nothing. She's worried about everything right. about the whole time we're doing anything. I don't think that's to say I give you credit for tons what of things. What do you give me credit for? For, for being the what? I contact the, you. I still try to see was you. I still always make... And who, who was with somebody else who I cheated on him. I like the fact that you always consistently try to make this guy who didn't give a dang about me be the dad that's my dad, but my dad's been my dad. And, but he's not your dad, Lacey. Kevin, do, yeah. do, do you, did you try to, because Sybil said you tried to keep the kids away from her when she was when the kids were growing up. Did you try to get well, the kids away? Well, not at first, you know. She'd make, <laughs> she'd make arrangements, I'm gonna come and get the kids, so we'd get the kids ready, and I'd have them on the front porch, and they'd be out there for about an hour, and, and oh, they'd really? be waiting, and then it'd okay, be so two now, hours. So, so now, let's, to let my kids sit there and wait for me, knowing full well they're not gonna let me take them. And, and they know I'm not coming, because they're not letting me come. Oh, they're they gonna let me sit there and wait. Up, we would call you and say, Mom, where are you? It's about 15 blocks away. I'm about 15 mm -hmm. blocks away. How many blocks does that make, Mom? How many miles does that make? Oh, about, about maybe 45 more minutes. I'm These about are kids that are, that, are, that are five and seven. I'm 126 blocks away. You told me I couldn't and pick them, Kevin. Kevin. You told me I could not pick them up. I'm going to let them wait there. I'm going to let them wait there so that there are things in their issues in life is that I wasn't there. I didn't come. And that's all because of you. after your kids are waiting outside for two hours. It's because of you not putting it to the point. Could I come get them? Could I come get them? Not after two hours, you couldn't know. Exactly. But you didn't stop them from waiting, Kevin. You could have been the man there and said, Why hey. Why would we ever stop waiting for our mom? <laughs> because he wasn't letting me come. He wasn't letting me come. No, you didn't come. It doesn't so do matter. Think, Kevin, do you think that Sybil is pursuing, pursuing this DNA test um, to be re resentful towards you in a, in a way? Oh, I think maybe Sybil wants the truth, too, because I, I don't know the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I thought I, I did. I don't either. But, yeah, see? And what's but, your relationship like with Lacey? Just my daughter. I was sick for a long time, and she was there every minute. I was on hospice, yeah, and I had cancer, and I had a stroke, and uh, she and my son, my son moved in with me and took care of me. Yeah, he carried me to the tub, and then he got on drugs. Because of me, and again, here, as you see that, look at me, like like I'm the reason it happened. And it was and it's his son. And the cop shot him. Yeah. He yeah. was in my backyard, right down the street. Why do you, His why, backyard. Why, he paid for the house. I, I don't want to go deep into this, but why are you blaming her for? <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm not. Thank I, you. Thank you. I've been trying to talk him out of the drug thing. I'm, you know, and I, I warned him. I said, you might, you have to stay away from your mom. It's not good. See there, Which that's what he said, did. Maybe. Stay away from your mom. Exactly what he did. I didn't know what else to say to him. Because it's my dying. fault, right? It's your fault. So my, my brother Dylan, he paid my dad's house off before he passed because he had sold his house and um, he was shot in my dad's backyard by, a, it was a mental health issue. Officers were definitely scared. My brother was acting very, um, you know, he was just not there, but so she holds this resentment, but my brother paid my dad's house off because he And he gave to it to the other kid that's not even you need, to stop you need me to stop what? I need but you to anyway, listen, okay? okay. It's time to get this, way, Lacey. Yeah. Great. I know, okay. I'm sorry about that for both of you all. And I, I, I see the pain in this. How would you feel today to get back to this if Lacey was not your child? Would you still be in her life? <laughs> she should probably come and live with me. Yeah, she's always going to be in my life. All right, well, listen, I think this is the moment now that we've all been waiting for. Oh. The DNA outcome. Um, Lacey, you have been waiting your entire life for this truth. Your parents have both said they've had doubt. And it's caused you to have doubt. Yeah. And I know for you, this is important for you more than anyone else to Thanks. get the answers. So this is your truth to okay. open. Will Lacey's mother be proven right or wrong? Find out next. Plus. I still have sex with her next to her. A relationship involving three people. She telling the truth? That will cause two phones to be unlocked. And so we got a message from this ex. You are the fire. Get off my stage.
think this is the moment now that we've all been waiting for, oh. the DNA outcome. Lacey, you have been waiting your entire life for this truth. Your parents have both said they've had doubts, so this is your truth to okay. open. Kevin is Lacey's biological father. Feel. Good. Good. It's validating. 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 And that was a cheat, right? I was the, I was the one who ran off and cheated, right? Because I, mean, I was what? Ironically, it sounds so weird to have the argument here because so, she's the only one who brought so, up the so fact simple. that he wasn't my dad. So you no, no, make it like you're the Can cheat. Can I ask you a moment? Why right now can't you take a moment just to celebrate that there's answers, that your daughter has <laughs> answers? Because as we all know, we just want to make sure we know who our parents are. Any person, we, that if there's ever that question, you just want to know that these are the people I came from. This is my family. I That's just a human instinct. And she just got that. And so I understand there's parts of your past that you feel like you don't get acknowledgement for. You have to be able to let that go. And right now, just celebrating the fact that your daughter got answers is the best thing you can do to take a step forward You're to right. let her You're know, right. oh, listen, I want to build something with you. But, but, but I don't want to build it on the pretense of, of, of the way he builds things, okay? You don't have to. I'm telling you to celebrate your daughter. This has nothing to do with Kevin. I'm asking you to celebrate your daughter, having clarity. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Because when that happened, she didn't say, Mom, boom. She didn't start attacking you. She just was happy. That's all she was. She said, oh my gosh, thank you, I got answers. Well, I'm glad for the answer too, but it's not the one I wanted. But it's, but, but it's, it's the an truth. But it's the, so but it's what the truth. what would make you feel good about the other answer coming when I don't have another person that, that guy's not alive. Because well, Lacey, it's my not about here. that. You have your dad the whole and thing. That's but my dad. It's, again, again, it's all, I'm the bad one all the time. You're I'm not gonna tell you this, I'm gonna tell you this. Sybil, you are living in a narrative that you have been telling yourself over and over again. They're not saying this narrative. You're the one telling yourself that you're the bad guy. And I think part of that is because there's extreme guilt. I heard it from when you were talking about earlier when they were sitting on the porch and you were late. All of everything you were expressing was guilt that you weren't there. You have to release that guilt. Your daughter, despite what happened in her past, grew up to be a loving young woman that's here and even before you came out here, said she loved you. She literally said good things about you. I'm actually, to be very honest with you, was surprised by this dynamic because when she sat down and I said, what was your relationship like with your mother? She said, oh, she's my friend. I love her. She was great. She helped me take care of my daughter. She wasn't saying bad things. So this narrative you have in your mind is based on the guilt that you have. Yeah. But then there's this other part where you feel like now that I've done a little growth, I want acknowledgement. And guilt with wanting and desiring acknowledgement are a deadly combination. Mm -hmm because what's happening is keeping you in the space of feeling like no one wants me, I'm not good enough, everyone thinks I'm bad, you're right. but it's no it. one thinks you're bad. Okay. Well, no one right. thinks you're bad. Mm -hmm. I didn't know your son, and God rest his soul, I don't think that he thought you were a horrible mother either. No, he, oh, he, he didn't, loved he loved her. So yeah. look, so we, you're hearing it. Even with the things that happened in the past, you can release that guilt. Your son she loved loves you. She loves her too. Your I mean, daughter they, they loves love her. you. Everyone loves you. I love you. I love you too. I love you very much. Thank you. It's a problem. Sybil, you've been fighting your entire life. You've been fighting, and it's time to let go of the fight. They understand mm -hmm. you grew. They understand you had a past, but you can start today. I'm yeah. sorry, Lacey. Thank you. It's okay. And Kevin, I'm sorry. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you received that, and I'm glad you got answers. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations on becoming a family. You thank took the you. first step today, all of y'all, all right? Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, friends, stay with us. We will be right back with more. The ex said this. She said this to you? Kay wants to know what Johnny has been doing with his ex. Why'd you lie to this man for no reason? But Johnny claims Kay knows more about his ex than he does. They talk more to me. Is that true? He's saying that you all had a threesome. Two phones unlocked. You're here to unlock each other's phones. And what happens is unforgettable. It was love at first sight for Johnny and Kay, but just a day after they agreed to be exclusive, 
Kay got a call from another woman claiming to be Johnny's girlfriend. Kay wants to get married but still has her suspicion that Johnny is still sneaking around with his ex. Kay is asking for my help to unlock the truth in his phone. So everyone, please welcome Kay to the show. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Can I have a hug? Yes. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. Yes. Okay, so please, um, you got to tell me, how did you find out that Johnny was already in a relationship? Well, to begin with, I met Johnny at a festival um, in the South, a big old festival. We uh -huh. spent, when we met each other, it was electric from the beginning. Mm. I, me and him had an instant bond. We talked the whole time consistently. We spent the first 30 days together, mm. you know, and at the end of that 30 days, I got a call from a female and she's saying, um, I want to speak to my man. So that was started the trust issues in the relationship? That's exactly what started the trust issue because when I first met him, I asked him, do you have anybody? Are you dating any females? You know, do you live with a woman? Transparency. Yeah, I want, I want all that out the way up front. Mm -hmm. He told me, no, he represented himself to be single. So that was in the past because how long ago was that now? No, that's about, we've been together about four years. Four off years and ago. On. Okay, yes. four years. Mm -hmm. So why are you still suspicious that Johnny is being unfaithful? Because just recently, uh, he had told me that he hasn't been in contact with the female because of the constant drama that comes with her. Mm. So we were in the bed and 11.30 in the evening, his phone gets to ringing. And my oh. intuition tells me that it's a female calling. And yes. I'm thinking it's the ex. Okay, so I wait till he falls asleep and I go through that phone. And <laughs> that's right, that's right, I go through that phone. And when I unlock that phone and go through that phone, who do I see texting him with some disgusting text message is the ex. Oh, wow. Yes. So have you ever spoken to the ex? Yes, I have. Me and her talked initially when she popped up to, you know, just to figure out where the lie was. Uh -huh. Because either you're lying or he's lying because he told me he was single. Okay. Yeah. And then, and what would she say? So he begs and cries and I still choose to leave his ass with you because you two truly deserve each other. I said what I said, ho, and I stand on that period. I'm not going to keep going back and forth with your old stupid press Manly, desperate, dried out ass. Who said this? You said this? The ex said this. She said this to you? This is what she said. Yes, this is what she said. Oh. So I just need to know, how often do you two argue? Um, it's often now because mm -hmm. of the trust issues. I, I'm not sharing a man. Yes. Initially, he came with this uh, let's try it out all of us together, uh -huh. and that was not, that was not working. That okay. was not working. Okay, Me and then. her have absolutely nothing in common. This lady popped up out the blue. She, one day we're sitting in the house, having a great dinner, and bang, 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 bang. This woman's out here, she's, per, she's saying that she's come to get her man. I said, if you come to get anybody, you come to get our man. This woman is very bold. Yes, she is. Wow, because, I mean, to send you text messages yeah. to show up at your door. That's right. And, I mean, for context, and, I mean, like, we're almost the same age. That's you're, right. You're, you're in your 40s. That's right. And so you you grown dealing with this. That's right. You're not and 20 dealing with this. No, I'm not. And mm -hmm. I'm going to conduct myself like I'm grown. So all that extra drama, all that extra showing out in public, that's not how I conduct myself. Exactly. And I don't like it. And, Got and it. for you to come to my door unannounced, <laughs> for you to come to my door Why is you still lying to these people? <laughs> Why'd you lie to this man for no reason? Why? You, you know that's the truth. Man, let me tell you something, right? From the jump, right? K no god doggone well. We all three of them been in the bed together. Is that true that he's saying that you all had a threesome? I'm not trying to share him. I still had sex with her next to her. What is going on with the third person involved in this relationship? They talked about the sister wives before I even had anything to do about it. Two phones unlocked. Oh! And what happens is unforgettable. And so we got a message from this ex. You are the fuck. You're a fuck fool. I got a call from a female and she's saying, I want to speak to my man. Uh, he had told me that he hasn't been in contact with the female because of the constant drama that comes with her. Mm. I'm not sharing a man. Why is you still lying to these people? Can't no god doggone well. We all three of them been in the bed together. 
Is that true that he's saying that you all had a threesome? No, we didn't have a threesome. It wasn't that's a threesome. What, I didn't have sex with wanted. her at the time because she was on her period. I still had sex with her next to her. <gasps> so she was in the bed while you two engaged in sex? Yes, yeah, she was. At her house. At her house. At, her house. at my apartment. At her house. We went up. After I found out about the woman, he told me, let's Man, go over dude. there and sit and talk and see what we can work out, whether but or not we'll be then. able to. Why you ain't tell that to start with? Because that's not what it was initially. When I first it's met you, that's, ass, not what, that's, 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 truth, not, that's not what was that's said. That's the truth, man. So y'all were, you broke so over that were y'all in a throuple? No, no so never. Then, okay, you weren't in a throuple, so you just, y'all just decided as adults you were going to have some sexual moments where she was included. Exactly, was but it to didn't include work out. Her. Got it, okay. So why didn't you share that information with me before? When we first met each other, I asked him, are you single? Okay. He said, yes, I'm yes, single. Yes, I'm single. And how often do you two argue about this? That makes sense now, okay. We argue regularly about this because I'm not trying to share him. Uh -huh. He brought up the idea of this throuple. I said, okay, if that's the best way it's going to work out, if we can get along, then I can entertain the idea. So how? Uh, Depending on, on listen, the personality. Listen, bro, they talked about the sister wives before I even had anything to do about it. Did you have a conversation with her about being sister wives? Afterwards, because he told her that was the only way that she was going to still be Man, we walked to, we, 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 we went to my old apartment together and I told the lady in her face, I said, Johnny, what you gonna do? Listen, I am not in love with you. I am in love with Kay. This is who I wanna be with. Yes, they had a relationship before me, but she makes it like I stole her man. I don't as understand, far as I, I don't know, understand she didn't have a man. I don't understand why y'all bickering back and forth and y'all don't talk. All this other talking, they talk more than me. They talk, to, mm. they talk more to each other than, than That's me and true. her talk. So that disrespectful text is something where, like, outside of your relationship, your, your, the, I don't want to call it a friendship, yeah. outside of whatever relationship you're cultivating, yeah. sometimes it gets toxic between you two. Yeah. Now, before, she's never been disrespectful towards me. Okay. We had very intelligent conversations. I'm a grown adult. I'm not going to bicker back and forth with you and name call with you. If we're not going to get to the point, then it's no reason for me to talk to you so, at all. So it sounds like to me that before in the past, there was an agreement that there could be maybe some conversations of you all being working together. Working together. That's working right. together. We'll say that. That's right. But now there was a boundary set by you that no longer there should be communication. That's right. That's because what she wanted, I saw messages. Got. I saw okay. messages. So that makes more sense. So yeah. now you're upset because you, he, you feel as if he's still disrespecting that boundary. That's right. So you both, because uh, let me make sure everyone is aware of this. You're here to unlock each other's phones. That's Ain't correct. Nothing in mine. But see, okay. it's nothing in his phone because. I'm gonna say this, Johnny changed his phone like he changed his underwear. Mm. Mysteriously, mysteriously, his phone goes missing. She know every code to my phone, the tablet right now ain't even locked. She know every phone to my code, I don't, I bet you I don't, I don't even know the code to the Facebook, how to get into her phone, tablet, nothing. That's so true. So you're saying that she, so you're admitting Everything that. That's true. I think we just need to get to unlocking these but phones. But I love, I listen now, go get a twist now. I love my lady, I love my lady now. I, I hear you, you love your lady. Okay, so, uh, Johnny, we're gonna go ahead and unlock your phone first, all right? Nathan. She set up the Facebook account, so there ain't nothing on it. If it is, so, she again, it. we went through apps, we went through GPS, we went through text messages. Okay, you want to know if Johnny is still communicating with other women on Facebook. He says he is not. Okay. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his apps, and he is telling the truth. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Kay wants to know if Johnny was where Johnny was this summer of 2023. He said that he was not anywhere that he was not supposed to be. Um, <laughs> and I unlocked the phone investigator, searched his GPS, and he is telling the truth. Okay. I told okay. you that. I told okay. you that. Okay. Over and over. Kay, you also want to know if Johnny over is still over. communicating with his ex. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, he says he is not. I unlocked the phone investigator, searched his text and found her contact a not draft. listed under a, a contact, but Johnny gave a number to our producer, mm -hmm. and she said she was not gonna call. I requested that she call. Yeah. And we got a ping, and so we got a message from this ex. The third person involved in this relationship. I seen Johnny in July. Will speak out next. Oh! And then one more phone will be unlocked. She telling the truth? She's not saying that for no reason. Stay tuned.
You're here to unlock each other's phone. That's Ain't correct. Ain't nothing much. Okay, so, uh, Johnny, we're gonna go ahead and unlock your phone first, all right? I unlocked the phone, investigators searched his text and found her contact address. not listed under address. a contact, but Johnny gave a number to our producer and she said she was not gonna call. I requested that she call. Yeah. And we got a ping, and so we got a message from this ex. I seen Johnny in July. And we had sex then. Oh, and then I've so you talked had, to him sex. probably like a couple of days now ago. He sex. called me. Oh, Johnny, now this that? makes sense for the smile. So you oh. had sex with your ex recently? Oh. No, not no yeah, day. July. July. But you just said July. I, I, I thought y'all wasn't having sex. I ain't had sex no July. No. That's recent. No. My producers That's are recent. telling me that it was on her birthday. Oh. Oh, birthday sex. You having birthday sex, huh? <laughs> Oh, and it's funny, right? No, it's funny. I'm not laughing. It's funny. I'm not laughing. It's funny. Now, okay, if I go have birthday sex with my ex, how you gonna feel about it? I'm gonna beat it. How ass. you gonna feel about it? Y'all. How you gonna feel about it? Explain what she said. Is she telling the truth? She telling the truth? No. I believe her. I believe her. I mean, Johnny, at the end of the day, we know that there was some I type of relationship her. here, so there's no reason for her to lie about That's, it. And you still lying. I you still on lying. Still lying. I believe her. She's not saying that for no reason. We have to now unlock your phone, Kay. Please do. Yes. Please do. It's OK. We have unlocked your phone as Please well. Do. Johnny, you had some questions that you wanted to answer as well. Please do. Johnny, you want to know if Kay had made a secret Facebook account, correct? Um, she says she did not. And my Unlock the Phone investigator shirts her apps, and she is not telling the truth. She made a new Facebook account on September 17, 2023, under the name of Joy, and is registered to her email address. Really? That's correct. Because really? the reason why I'm gonna tell you why. You're a lying but what ass. kind of what kind of messages you're a lying, did he find on ass. Like What I kind of you messages are, a did he sneak. find on it? You a sneak. What kind of messages did he find well, on it? Well, let's go to the next one. DMs. Yeah. Johnny wants to know if Kay is communicating with other men on social media. She says she is not. My unlock the phone investigator searched her DMs and. She is not telling the truth. Three of them. Three dudes. Johnny says. Who the three? Um, who the three? So if I can have the evidence no, it's back, not please. No three dudes. Who the who? It's not no three dudes. I want to see which men these are. Please. Because hmm. these might be family members. Family or my friends. ass. Let's see. These are messages from. Oh. Oh, yeah, this oh. is true. I that, not this, this is one. true. To the, who yeah, is into that. And here you go, the last. This is true. This is what I got called. That's true about. right there. When I asked her about this right here, this I don't know this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me, not, not as true. These are correct. Well, let's keep going here. Listen, Johnny wants to know is. if Kay was communicating with men via text. She says she's not. My oh, Unlock the Phone investigators searched her text and found she is not telling the truth. My Unlock the Phone investigator found that she is deleting messages on a Text Now app yes. because it's in use two to three hours a day yes. where the messages have been deleted. My Unlock the Phone investigator also found messages from your son which I thought was very interesting, saying to leave Johnny because he says yeah. his relationship is and go toxic. Back, and go back to the, uh, the, the ex Okay, now, when whatever. it comes to the messages, yeah. read it off the text name message, it's not to no man talking about is, no sex. Is. And this is the dummy account that I've been using mm -hmm. to survey his social media. Okay, I will tell you this, and this, and this is all sincerity now, because I, I will have as much fun with my guests, but at the end of the day, this is real life for me. That's right. And yeah, after that's seeing right. this, interaction between mm -hmm. you two, it's obvious that this relationship has been unhealthy. It's been unhealthy you know from why? day one. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you where this relationship went wrong from the beginning. This relationship went wrong when you were in a relationship where you tried to prove a point to the woman you were with I was to done. show her that you felt disrespected, and that same day you met another woman who you were not emotionally ready to get with because you were still emotionally attached to done. another woman. And that's just the fact of the matter. I was done, And though. so you were not done. Mm -mm. If you were done with her, you would have never, ever to tried try. to have them engage together. Do you, either of you want to leave this relationship today? Hell no. No. Thank you. So, so this is why I'm not going to go anywhere further with this, because I understand at the end of the day that you all want to get this out. Now you have all the information you needed. You both mm -hmm. have exposed each other. Yeah. But I can see that neither of you are ready to get out of this toxic cycle. Mm -hmm. Y'all are acting like y'all 20-year-olds. Mm -hmm. And at this time in your lives, this is where you should be settling down, figure out how to settle, to have a future where it's safe. And the thing is, unfortunately, the behavior is not going to change because the trust was broken from day one. And there's no way to go back and fix that trust. The only way for this trust to ever be rebuilt is if you break up, 
learn how to be friends, learn how to talk to each other with respect and decency, and then maybe through the building of that friendship, you could have a healthy relationship. But now that y'all are willing to go backwards to start to move forward, thus you're going to be in this cycle. So I wish y'all best of luck. Yeah. All right, everyone, thanks for being with us. Make sure to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all. <laughs>